Hi guys. All right, so my name's Alicia with grechicks.com, and again, I'm here to explain sections from the GRE, the vocab, and the subjects, subject test and literature for the GRE, but I'll also help you with stuff for the SAT, you know, the GMAT, you know, all those different tests. Um, today, I'm going to be explaining how to simplify expressions, simplify algebra ex expressions specifically, First of all, you need to know that there's a difference between a term and a coefficient. What is that difference? It's really simple. And if I try to give you the exact definition of a term and a coefficient, most likely it will just confuse you. Okay, so just think of it like this. When I tell you, say, think about x and 3x, okay? If I tell you I have x of something, then you know that I have just like a set of x, right? And that would be a term. Now tell, when I tell you that I have three x of something, then you know I have like three sets of x. And that is a coefficient. So three x is a way, is like a factor of x. And that's just an expression of a co, like the coefficient of x. And so the expression three x all together think of it as in, in parentheses, is really the coefficient, whereas the x standing alone is the term. Okay, so that's the difference. When we see 3x all together, not just the 3, mind you, but the 3x, that's the coefficient, whereas the x standing alone is the term. So if you can, you can think of it as um, like comforter sets, right? If we have one comforter set, that could be x. But when we have three comforter sets, then that would mean that we have three of x. So we have three, when we have three x, that would be like the number of comforter sets together would be the coefficient, whereas x would be the actual comforter set or the term, okay? So x would be comforter sets and three x would be the number of comforter sets altogether or the coefficient. And why this is important, because when I'm telling you that you need to combine like terms in order to simplify expressions, you need to know that whenever you're combining like terms, the only things that need to match are the terms themselves. So take the expression 15b plus 9 plus 5b minus 2, okay? So it's clear that the terms b in 15b and 5b match, right? The b's match. So it seems like you should be able to combine them. 15b plus 5b is 20b. So notice that the coefficients, they're not exactly the same. It's not 15b and 15b. But we can still combine them because the terms match, all right? So when you're combining like terms, don't confuse the term with the coefficient and think that you need to have the exact same si signs in order to combine, all right? You only need to have like terms. However, and this is good to know, understand that powers do change terms, all right? So x is not the same as x squared. x squared is not as the same as x to the third power, okay? So an, uh, a term is different when it is to a po the power of something. Does that make sense? So x to the power of 3 is a different term than x squared. All right? And xy squared is a term just like xyz is a term. Okay, so terms can be more than one letter and that sort of thing. So make sure that you understand terms can be, have several letters and that sort of thing. But understand that when you have like 18 xyz squared, what the number is telling you is that you have 18 sets of xyz squared. So the coefficient is 18 xyz squared and the term is xyz squared. So what you want to combine is what you want to look for in order to see if you can combine is the xyz squared. All right? And also check for check for negatives. So when you have um, xyz to the negative third power, don't go combining it with x, y, z to the third power. It's not the same thing. Although, that's actually 
a little bit more confusing than you might think because that goes into, um, well, I'll explain that in another lecture. But I'm sure some of you who are watching this understand that and know how to do it. However, this is Alicia with GRE Chicks. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, on our website, grechicks.com, we explain math, literature, and vocab for the GRE subject test in literature as well as the regular GRE. And I'm just studying on my own time and then making videos. So again, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or anything that might help me study, anything like that, I'd be happy to hear it. All right, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.